What's up you guys, I'm Dr. Nick. In this video, we are fixing a Jones fracture, which is a fracture of the fifth metatarsal, and they have a high degree of low vascularity, so it's important to fix these. So you can see we're inserting a guide wire down the metatarsal shaft that allows us to put placement of the screw so we can get it in a proper position. And you can see we're using intraoperative fluoroscopy, which is x-ray and we're making sure we have perfect placement. And then once we get that placement, we're actually going to tap the wire in because this helps it find the medullary canal and make sure that we're not going through the cortical bone, that we're getting it right down the canal. And we're going to make a small incision. And with this incision, we're then going to measure to make sure we have the proper length of the screw. So we're taking our measuring device and we put that up against the bone and again, we're using our intraoperative x-ray to make sure we have the adequate length. You can see we're measuring there. We will also put our screw up against the bone and confirm under x-ray to make sure we have the right length. But we also measured prior to surgery and we found it to be around 45 millimeters, which is the size of the screw we inserted. And we're going to drill the metatarsal bone. And this is just what it sounds like. We're using a regular drill and we're drilling down the metatarsal shaft the next step is to tap the screw threads to put the screw in. It's just like carpentry. We're tapping the bone with a threaded tap, getting us ready for the screw. And then here's our screw. And if you remember, we had a guide wire, but this is a solid screw. So we're putting it right up against the metatarsal bone and we're inserting it down the medullary canal, which will stabilize the fracture of the metatarsal. And once the screw is inserted, we are going to put a single stitch we only need one suture, and this recovers very quickly. The sutures come out in a, about seven to 10 days, and the patient is walking a few days after surgery. This is a simple procedure, and you can see here after surgery, we have adequate reduction of our fracture. You'll still see a little bit of the fracture line here on the oblique and the uh, AP view, but this is normal. Just remember that screw is holding it stable in place. So thanks again for watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns, you can drop it in the comments section below and feel free to click on some of these other videos I have posted here. And please make sure to like and subscribe so you can check out some of the new videos that we will have posted here in the future. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.